Good day, people. I go by the name of Mr. Biggs, and welcome to the new at Improved Dine Daily. We would like to thank you for all the love we received back for the best burger in London. We are back by popular demand. Today, we have a head-to-head -head going on, and we have a man that needs no introduction. He does not run out of bars, literally, but we're gonna know today if he has the skills in the kitchen, Mr. Chip. And in the right corner, we have come out today to the Urban Quartery. We have head chef Martin Zalmensky. What we have today is Chip's honey barbecue jerk infused chicken wings versus Chef Zalmensky's barbecued bison and duck wings. Nothing else needs more to be said. Let's get to cooking. I get most of my cooking tips from, if I'm honest, I've, I've lived by myself from young anyway, but my parents are both good cooks. My aunties, my godparents, it's just levels everywhere, you get me? Oh, you wanna see me? What's going on? What we got? Yeah, boom, all right, so. The best seasonings in the game are Raja. Absolutely, Raja seasonings are the best. For all you get them that can't cook, Stress. See him there? It's my cousin. Raja. All purpose, for every purpose. Always ready. You get me? Very essential in the kitchen. See, man's taking notes. The ground black pepper, you get me? That's just. It goes without saying. Paprika. A young hint. Trust me. And then the garlic powder, you get me? So you got the barbecue sauce, add the honey, and you just wanna. Hint of garlic powder in the sauce before you mix it up. It gives it that sap and it comes out of the oven all sticky. Yeah? So be careful how much garlic powder you put as well. And I just want to say, yeah, I'm tired of seeing cooking shows, yeah, where they don't wash the meat, bruv. Like, I'm putting it out there. We're washing meat in this cooking show, bro. What? Absolutely, fam. Absolutely. So, boom, where's the water at? Over there, yeah? Yeah, take your lemon, squeeze your lemon juice all over your chickens, you get me? They've already been de so they're not hairy and that. You get me? Squeeze your lemon in there, squeeze that in there. And you can't be a cook if you're shook to get your hands dirty. You can't come in life if you're scared to get your hands dirty. You gotta get a bit dirty sometimes. Fam, I've been stressing it, but I hope you've been catching it, Quace. You get me, fam? Like, I'm tired of seeing cooking shows where they're not washing the mitt. You gotta wash the mitt. You get me? Food poisoning, bro. And more. Really and truly, ideally, you want to season your wings from the night before so they've got the taste just like really setting. You need a bit of ketchup in there to make it stick. A tiny bit of soya sauce. There's a hint, a hint of garlic, you get me? It's a little zap. We heard you don't run out of bars. I also don't run out of bars. Yeah. So let me throw something to you. Chicken. Finger licking. How will you dip it? In the kitchen. I got a bitch in thinking of sticking. I got a bitch in she thinking about licking. Woo! Oh. Did you have her in the whipping? No, I had her rough in the kitchen. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna go to Chip's next process of making these honey barbecue jerk wings. You will see me in a few. Let's go. Right. are lightly fried now, so we're just gonna put them in the oven. So everyone's surprised that I was making chicken today. They thought that I would be making beef. <laughs> but no, it's not that deep. Yeah, chicken wings, man. Uh, quick, efficient. I've been trying to eat less red meat, if I'm honest. That also plays a part, so I've been cooking a lot more chicken and fish. Um, type dishes, but I didn't get told that I needed a course. I literally got told to do a dish. So um, the wings are going down, should be ready. I'm um, coming out of the oven soon, then sourcing them back in the oven. Now. The worst thing that a girl has cooked for me is told me she can't cook and then she ate dry pasta. Oh, well, there's nothing on it? Nothing, just out of the pack, bang. Huh? Bam, what? <laughs> That's the truth. Um, the other chef is cooking bison. 
So who's my favourite um, Street Fighter character and why? You already know the thing. Sonic Boom! <laughs> I can't lie, I'm, I, what I was in, the techers I was impressed by was the paprika. Because yeah, I know the paprika about the, as well, don't forget the paprika. For the smoky effect. Yeah. And I was impressed by your, your soya sauce techers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because most people don't know about putting soya sauce in barbecue. And being, yeah, being that way inclined, I know, you know my eating already. So now, we have had chipmunks, honey barbecue, jerk infused wings. I think it's only right that it's time to switch over to chef, head chef, Martin Zumanski as he gets busy with his duck wings and his barbecue bison. Let's go. So what is the, what, what's the procedure? So, we got a duck wings. It's usually everybody throw away. We got a bison. Duck uh, wings, bison. We're gonna use the semi ingredients. What is this on the bison? Or as, a, as a chick used, the, so I'm gonna use the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use the ketchup. Oh. I'm gonna use a vista sauce. I'm gonna use the chicory and coffee essence. It's gonna get a little bit of bitterness. Yeah, he's getting the coffee I'm gonna get a, That's also for a smoky effect. A, a honey, sriracha, 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 spicy sauce, which is really uh, kick in the ass. Then we got a pomegranate. Uh, What's that? Extract. Yeah, it's sort of extract, and we call it molasses. So it's molasses. Yeah, I know what molasses. Is. That's it. You want to burn all the hair off. to singe the hair, of course. So no one wants to eat wings with hair on. And you're basically cooking them as well, slightly. Chef you, Martin, you I can't lie to you, I'm gas. Can I help you with that? Just put the shade gas on it. Mate. <laughs> you love any of that? Burn up! So, so what we're doing right now is skewering the bison with onion. With meat of onion, that's it. And it's got the, the, the barbecue flavouring on it. That's it. Right. Sauce, man. Sauce it up. Risk, risk. Come on. We're in a pack. Come on. Let's get it. Thing in the middle. We finish with a little bit of butter, garlic butter, which we made ahead. That's it. Now we're gonna rest it, put it nicely on, skew it on the hay with the paper. And now is the effect that you're waiting for. We're gonna burn it. We're gonna have the smoky effect in that. Simple as that. Okay, Dine Daily, we have the first submission. We have Chef Martin Zumenski, head chef of the Urban Cutteries submission. We have two enormous duck wings served with some skewered bison with a special mayonnaise and a special salsa with capers. That looks absolutely awesome. And we're gonna put them out for submission. We're gonna go to chip plating up now. Yeah, I need. Uh, what's that tissue thing? Sure what's that tissue thing? Now we get chip one of them triangles as well. Man, trying to bump it, bro. <laughs> and on the right side, left side, we have chip submission. One thing I love to talk about is complex simplicity. It doesn't have to look mad to taste good. Honey barbecue jerk infused wings with some fat chips and a nice cabbage slash coleslaw. So, we look at presentation. I think they both get a 10 for presentation, to be honest. I'm actually surprised by your presentation, Chip, because that actually looks very good. So once you've looked at it, there's only one thing to do, and that's eat it. So we're going to put it to the taste test. Meet me in two minutes. I shall get prepared. So what we're actually going to do right now is let... Because I think Chip's earned the name Chef Chip today. Yeah, do you agree? Yes, I'll be honest. So we're going to let Chef Chip and Chef Martin taste each other's dishes. Wait, before you go in, please do not take the piss. I've come to eat today. So I have nibbles and pass the rest to me, but this is my job. <laughs> right, so right, we'll right. let Chef Chip go with a bison. bison yeah. we'll let, one by one, we'll let Chef go with a bison. Right, Chef Chip go with a bison and the, you know the capered salsa. You've opted not to try the duck wings, right? 
Um, you're not, yeah, you're not, I'll give it a try. Give it a I mean, try. I'll be a bloody, you know what I mean? I don't usually eat drugs, but, um, unless it's the highest wraps. You should. Give me the bison, with a bit of, with a bit mayonnaise. of salsa. 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 You put on the mayonnaise. The mayo as well, yeah? Put yeah. in the salsa, B. That's mayonnaise. What's up? Is that a pork mayo, though, right? Yeah. Okay, he yeah, doesn't, yeah, he doesn't do the pork. pork thing. No problem. Alright, so we're gonna wear this now. This is your first time trying bison also? Yeah. On this evaluation, what do you reckon? Not virgin anymore. No. I'm no longer a virgin to bison. I like it. I like it. It tastes like a more high-end beef. Beef, right? Like yeah. an Angus. It's yeah. got a nice marble. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. Now we're going to get Chef Martin tasting the chips. Honey barbecue jerk wings. It's cooked the profession first of all. It's so nice it's and juicy. It's yeah. nice and juicy on the bone. Yep. It's perfectly good. And it falls off the bone. Yeah. I've Absolutely. not tasted it, but it looks like it falls off the bone. Absolutely. Oh fuck. He said, oh fuck. <laughs> Has he heard the name Chef Chip oh, Chef Chip today, Martin? Yeah. Perfectly today. What it's would you give that out of a 10? Out of the 10, nine and a half. Wow. Fantastic. Yes, so now I've done all the talking, it's time for me to do some walking posty. Would you care to indulge? We'll start with chips first. That's certainly would, sir. And we'll give an honest evaluation. We don't do no knife and fork over here. That's for you, man. It's not for me, dog. <laughs> Very nice. Go on. Slightly on the salty side, but just put on. I love salt. Mm -hmm. You know what it is, yeah? Very I won't lie to you, Chip, yeah? Yo, fam. Um, the double dipping of the sauce, yeah. The I swear to God, dip. yeah. The way the the, the, the the way the jerk season, the jerk seasoning comes out, because it's like it's like layers. The barbecue is there, then you get the the, the kick of the um, jerk seasoning after, yeah. And the hint of the soya sauce, the paprika gives it a hell of a smoky feel, so it feels charred. Then we go to that attempt, and I make wings, yeah. But what he's done that I don't do, the double dipping is one, so my wings tend to get dry. We didn't put too much jerk seasoning, so it's not too pepper, but the paprika pushes out the jerk seasoning and the smoke, smoking it. I have to give them a 10 out of 10. I really have to. But the wings, yeah? Well, I don't think your wings are going to beat them. I'm sure. I have to give them a 10 out of 10. Well, I, see, I, came, I came through in the cooking world, shout out one time. Um, that was, now we're going to get on to Chef Martin's meal. Um, should we start with the bison first? So first, I leave that to you, sir. the bison skewers with the salsa. I'll take this one, possibly take that one. Um, you know you got this pause. Fuck off. <laughs> it's proper, man. This is high end. It tastes like high end beef. It's like succulent, but yet very well cooked. It tastes smoky. I can taste the paprika in it. Um, and the hay. As we love them to rest. <laughs> Brother, I don't even know what the hay tastes like in my diet. I don't even know what the hay tastes like, my dad. It's that's good, man. The sauce is banging, the capers. With the onions. I do it with that, that's nine and a half. You're good. Now, on to the one minute soup. The duck wings. Posty is up to that at the challenge, but I've never been afraid. Yeah, you're hard, bro. Chef, I have to say these are not for me. Maybe because, maybe because I tasted chips once. Like, the skewers are awesome. They're out of this world. They're, I'm lying, they're not nine and a half. That was a bit of sabotage. The skewers are probably 10 out of 10. The, the sauce is 10 out of 10. But this is duck, and I don't really like duck. So, but the fact that I'm eating it is a good bonus already. But it's stronger, it's tougher. It feels like this duck's going to the gym. <laughs> Uh -huh. Who's okay? Tell that, bro. Hey, listen up. <laughs> I'm Nigerian. We have something in Nigeria called shaki. It tastes like I'm pulling shaki right now. I swear to God. Like, like oh. strong bokoto. So it's been an awesome day today at the M by Moncom. 17th floor at the Urban Cotary. Chips, wings, wines. Yeah, they weren't lemon pepper, but they were honey barbecue jerk, and they were absolutely immense. 
and I was really, really into Chef Martin's bison skewers with, with, with the little salsa. It was awesome. Still waiting for my um, Bollinger 79. Yo, Postel! My motherfucking bottle. It's been a fantastic first episode. I've enjoyed the tasting. You've enjoyed the watching. This has been the dying day. Don't cut off questions. Just keep it going, please. I mean, I'm swaggy. That's why I think. I don't even know what my hands did. I was crazy for it. I don't even know what I did. I can't cut. No, no, don't cut. <laughs>